In this video, we go to Guam, where I move into my new home on land. We take a tour of Tumon Bay and fit in some beach time. Today I found one of the last Kmart's. Oh yeah. I think in the world. Yes. Yeah, I haven't. This, this is the busiest uh, Kmart in the world. It's the busiest Kmart in the world. <laughs> I believe it. It's like one of the last ones standing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very real. I haven't seen one in like two years, and I thought that was like a a, uh, yeah. a serious find. Uh -huh. A lot of good stuff in there. I just completely redecorated my room, so I'm excited to get home now. It's, I've only been here a few hours, but I've got some good rest. I've unpacked my bag. I usually, it takes me forever to do that, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And the fact that I went grocery shopping and I couldn't help it, I decided to redecorate my room. Since I'm gonna be here at least three months. So uh, yeah, you're gonna get a tour of my new home. fun things to do here. And all I've got is mainly scrubs because I'm going to work. Now that I've taken account of what dishes I actually have, I have two tiny pans, which would be perfect for the eggs I don't have. And uh, I have no knife to chop anything. And there was no yogurt where I was at, so I can't make a smoothie with my blender. So, I don't know. I, it feels very incomplete right now, but oh well. I'm not gonna starve. settled I'm actually really, really excited about this um, my plan was to walk to the store and walk home but that was a little impossible I bought groceries so I had to carry it all by my little lonesome so I got I got a cab and now it's time to just fill up my kitchen and settle in and bust out the laptop and see how much work I have to do challenge so I was in Bali for two weeks and now I have two weeks of footage I've only made one video for there and I have a whole week of volunteering we have beach days that we did we went to a couple different cities and checked them out saw temples so the best thing I can do for myself right now is download everything and organize it and then from there try to figure out how I make a video out of it how do I lump it all together so it makes sense for everyone at home watching this, hoping that there'll be a story. So I've got everything organized now and I've kind of pre gone through the footage and deleted a lot of stuff, but now I guess I um, need to check that out again just to condense everything. Um, I try not to do double takes on anything just because of this moment when you have to organize and get rid of stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to sit here a long time if I were to double take everything. So I'm just kind of gonna roll with the punches just because these beginning videos aren't high quality anyway. So what's the point of uh, getting that perfect shot? You know, like this is just 
a lot of different areas of practice to do hopefully better in. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I do a lot of previewing and hopefully dump some of this stuff into my software and time it, see how long I get on a video. All right, well, I've shut it down for the evening. I, let's see, I flew in, I got here like at five o'clock in the morning, took a nap, got outside, went and got my groceries, got some stuff to move in here with, and then sat down and hammered it out at the laptop until 9 p.m. So it's been a full day. I've gone through almost all of my Bali footage, so I feel ahead. I gotta go through my A roll and my B roll and kind of put it all in different folders so it's all super organized. And that's just gonna be how I attack making videos. So I feel good about it. And now I'm just gonna jump to bed and relax my body and my mind. One of my first stops is always to get some data. Huh. Well, I've kind of stole my bus driver. He has an hour break now, and he's gonna walk me through the outlet mall to get me my data. And uh, yeah, I totally have a sidekick now. This is super great. <laughs> and a ride. <laughs> All for $4. All right, I'm in business. Got internet and a buddy. And now I'm gonna go do the loop of town and see how big Guam is. And then I brought a bikini, so I think I'll go to the beach to waste the rest of my day. Whenever I can, I like to use the public transit. There you go. All right, thanks. All right, well, I think I'm all set to go. So I've got my daily bus pass going in a big loop of, I guess, the island of Guam. doesn't go to the mall. I'm gonna go in. I gotta find out what's in there. Stranger Things. I don't know what era I'm in. It kind of feels like the 90s or something like that. Um, there's a lot of kids here, a lot of video games, and uh, it's pretty neon here too. It's kind of cool. And now I, I hit up the food court and checked out the stores. I'll definitely be back here. And now it's time to go find my bus and see the rest of the island. Too hot to be sitting on that thing. And 
end. So I'm at a tall building and we'll see what's on the other side of it. This is pretty beautiful, but it's full of kids. I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna go ask for directions and not go through the water park and the screaming and all that and find a peaceful beach. Maybe a pina colada. <laughs> This is exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. I was amazed at how crystal clear the water was. It really wasn't that hard to find a spot all for myself. Well, it's really beautiful here, but I'm gonna go see what the rest of the beach is like. There's supposed to be a big park coming up ahead that you can kind of hang out at, and there's a lot of people up there, but I kind of wanted to hang out here because it was more secluded. And I just kind of take in the sounds of the birds and everything around me. There's butterflies here that are really cute. There's a lot of fruit, fruit trees, so yeah, just soaking it all in. I would say easily 80% of the people behind me are wearing rash guards or shorts or something. Like I feel extremely overdressed here. <laughs> and I like to rock the bikini, so hopefully I'm not offending anyone in the family zone back there. But I guess just everyone here in general is either super fair skin or on the bigger side. So everyone's kind of, you know, dressed up covering themselves not me all right well I got my beach time in super happy I probably needed some block if I was gonna stay out there any longer um, there's supposed to be live music tonight so I'll either go home get ready and do that or go home and just edit one or the other kind of the thing these days but Guam is a lot more beautiful than I thought it was gonna be it's definitely less run down than I thought it was going to be. And there's definitely a huge Asian influence over here. Way more than I thought there was going to be. So Guam so far has been full of surprises. And I like it. A sunset's always a great way to end your day. I got lucky with the sunset. This is a super good spot. Woo! Way better than the places I spent today. Guam is on point. Woo! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've got many more Guam videos to come.